by the power of the African entrepreneur. Think of Africa and all our quote-unquote issues. So imagine a world in which Africa's entrepreneurs could find homegrown solutions to those issues. Hello everyone, my name is Yusuf Mwadi. I'm a Rwandan entrepreneur and the co-founder of Back Innovation. I'm spending the weekend with Africa's business heroes. It is here in Kigali that Jack Ma planted a seed for an organization that is here to accelerate the dreams of young Africans. So we're here at the Kigali Convention Center where Africa's business heroes is gathering entrepreneurs from all over Africa who all have one thing in common. They want to make a positive impact and change the world. So for the next few days, I'll be speaking to entrepreneurs, judges and organizers to try and understand their stories, but also know more about what does it take to be one of Africa's business heroes. My name is um, Elia Timoteo, um, and I'm working as CEO at East Africa Fruits, and we're building Africa's largest food distributor. I'm a Dudafi. I have three passions in life, Africa, technology, and talent, in that order. I'm the founder and CEO at Rohit Beli. It's a support platform for moms, offering them financial, physical, intellectual, and social services. I run a hybrid social enterprise called Shown Equip. Shown Equip is a manufacturer of pediatric wheelchairs and 24-hour posture support equipment for children living in rural and remote areas. My business is Hano Academy. Hano means achieve, attain your potential. I'm from Ghana and I'm the founder and CEO of Koliba Recycling. We're actually changing the way recycling is done across West Africa. I'm pitching uh, my company which is giving access to clean energy, and I'm showing how we have an impact. We are setting a new standard for development in Africa. We believe that supporting people with disabilities is something beautiful, but it shouldn't be optional. Very few people control a large amount of the wealth on the continent, and we're trying to rewrite that story, right, by allowing you know, Africans the same access that the 1% have, you know, in a way that they can build wealth sustainably from the ground up. Having spoken to so many entrepreneurs and hearing their stories, what comes through is their resilience, energy, and passion to never give up. As an entrepreneur, I can tell you, pitching is a bit nerve-wracking. But let's be the judges and see what it's like. What is it that you guys as the judges are looking for as traits in the winning entrepreneurs? The key thing we're looking for is just understanding how much passion they have for what they're building because that's a major driver for success. Because it's a journey, you're going to have to fail fast, fail cheap and fail often as they say. Don't be afraid to pivot. Yeah, and reinventing yourself as an entrepreneur, I think that's really important. Uh, we as entrepreneurs uh, within the African region need to think about is how do we build business models that still create job opportunities. They're being positioned as heroes, as role models, so their character, their way of presenting and communicating is also very important. Their vision for Africa. I just met the judges and I get the feeling that they're looking for an entrepreneur who knows their business and who can share an authentic story about themselves. So it started from my hospital bed. I had just given birth to my son Yassine and there was no support platforms for moms in Egypt. This is when I realized I would like to do something about it. I lost my sister due to gender-based violence about 10 years ago and that was my light bulb moment. I joined Mameza and uh, together we have been designing solutions to help fight crime. Our current educational system has a lot of challenges, so I, I thought that I can, I can help there. Look at what you bring to the world instead of what the world brings you. Because I think every human being is powerful. 
We're here at Norskin in Kigali, where Africa's Business Heroes is launching their first office in Africa. Norskin is the largest hub for entrepreneurs on the continent. And it's from here that Africa's Business Heroes is going to be serving its growing community of over 100,000 members. Entrepreneurs, yes, they need tools, they need resources, but in addition, they also need community. Because when they go and get stuff, it's your community who holds you not just accountable, but also give you the support and champion your cause. Africa's Business Heroes is a hub, it's a big family. You know you're not alone because we're surrounded by businessmen and businesswomen who have literally gone down this path or something similar that you can always fall back on. This network and the opportunities it provides in opening doors, connecting us to a new group of people, a new way of thinking. Entrepreneurs, like all of you here, you're strong, you're resilient, and you keep fighting on. To the ABA heroes, you are an inspiration, not just to the younger ones that will follow, but even to those of us that walk beside you. Three, two, one. Those of you who are on the screen from 2022 are top 10. Standing right next to me, a resounding round of applause. The energy it's brought has reminded me that I'm not too old to be on this train. And today I'm very honored to share with you that I'm going to launch a joint venture with a dear friend, Shibuzo Opara. So I'm here by standing in front of you. I'm an Egyptian entrepreneur in a Nigerian outfit addressing an amazing audience in Kigali. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ABH effect. One of the key takeaways that I'm left with is entrepreneurship is hard, but with enough resilience, you can still make it. I cannot wait to follow these entrepreneurs and see how they're going about their daily grind, how they're interacting with our customers and working with their teams to build some of the most innovative solutions to solve Africa's biggest problems. Until next time.